Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and you see the title, you see the title, yep. We're talking about music artists um, not selling and my thoughts on AI in the future of music. So if you are interested in that, female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, my unpopular opinions, whatever I really feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. And before I get into it, somebody might try to come for me for who is being shown in this video. Very limited artists. I mainly talk about female rap and pop, so there's going to be mostly female rappers in this video. But really, this applies for like any and everybody in the music industry who is not putting up the sales like that <laughs> like any and everybody pop female rap male rap like people who are just period not selling and there's a lot of people there is a lot of people so it's not just limited to x y people but i only have so many different types of videos in my hard drive because I mainly talk about pop and female rap over here, but it applies to a lot of y'all, a lot of people in the industry, period. And I just feel like it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. For some of these artists, the lyrics and the concepts that they are coming up with are not that complex or masterful or like super intelligent or super creative. And I'm sure an AI bot can easily come up with something similar or better for some of these artists. If we got, you know, people in artists talking about farts and and and, and poo and, <laughs> and just making generic pop music or generic female rap music or generic rap music period just music that is just very predictable in nature why wouldn't an ai bot at some point be able to replicate that or completely do it even better you know what i'm saying and that is where we're moving into Th this is the age and time that we're moving into and i actually got this point that i'm bringing up in the first place from one of my favorite youtubers ever i don't talk about youtubers a lot on this channel because i try not to bring up other creators ever but i love lovely t and she is the one who brought up this point a while ago that she basically was saying um that drake when he was responding to Kendrick Lamar, one of the last um, diss tracks that he put out, he used Tupac and Snoop Dogg's voice in AI to respond in the rap beef instead of using his own voice. Now, while he did this, obviously, for the beef, for his response, and he was trying to be clever and funny by using hip-hop rap legends' voices to respond instead of himself, while that was for the beef, I definitely do agree with Lovely T and the point that she brought out that she felt as though the industry was using Drake as a pawn to usher in the new ai wave of music and technology and that we are going to be seeing it more and more where artists are going to be either incorporating ai into their music or it's going to be something that we kind of see that's going to get pushed more because it's like the industry is losing money all the time nowadays with these artists no matter the genre it seems anymore like everybody is suffering across the platform across the music industry and so lovely t was basically bringing out that she feels like the industry was using drake to kind of put this in our faces because drake is a huge artist and so who better to usher in a new wave or to subliminally kind of put something out there and we slowly get used to it because we've heard it in a diss or we've heard it this way we've heard it used that way and we do know that it's readily available for regular people to use because people do ai covers all the time of their favorite artists if you go on youtube there's entire channels dedicated to ai covers of their favorite artists who they'll put their voice onto another person's song and it sounds incredible as if they sang it themselves and it's a whole thing and I really do admire it in a sense like I think it's cool but it's also scary <laughs> because it does jeopardize the work and integrity of actual artists but at this point I can see why I feel like the industry would be leaning that way in the future in the next you know five to ten years what is music going to be and is it going to be 
uh, AI generated? Is it going to be something of which we'll be satisfied with it because it sounds better than regular artists at this point? And all the little AI robot got to do is follow the trends of what they see in popular music and they'll learn it and eventually give us the stuff that we're receiving, but a better quality version, which is terrifying. Like, for example, I know you guys did not forget about um, that whole huge thing. Was it last year? I know it wasn't this year um, with that anonymous guy who made that viral song that was Drake featuring The Weeknd or The Weeknd featuring Drake. And the track was so insanely good that everyone couldn't stop listening to it. Like, I remember a point in time I couldn't stop listening to it. And I'm not for like the AI taking over artists and AI taking jobs and, you know, just our regular spaces how kind of ai is being integrated into taking workforce jobs away from people i am not really pro ai but i couldn't even stop listening to this song because it was so good it actually sounded like drake in the weekend and while the lyrics weren't completely made by ai there was a writer behind the lyrics the voices were not real so it was just crazy it was a crazy time talking to a diva like are you kidding me are you kidding me that sounded like something drake would like say it sounded like something you know the weekend and drake would be on the beat the the lyrics the the voices just everything and it was 100 percent fake it's like crazy it was crazy and i can't play the whole song because i don't know if it i don't know if there's copyright on it or what i don't know who owns it what but the point is is that i feel like it's coming and all these little different things we're seeing with ai that are coming forth that are going viral and are coming from the industry in some capacity are testers are things that are kind of getting us used to this idea because let's just talk about like there is no longevity like that like you know lotto you know i'm mainly talking about female rappers because that's what i talk about on this channel but this applies like i said to everybody you know she had her song that was on the billboard hot 100 sunday service it was at number 100 on the hot 100 then it fell off ice spice just dropped give me a light right absolutely nothing and ice spice has been the hottest thing for the last two years you know talking about female rap coil array she has been around for a few years now. She can't catch a hit to save her life anymore. She's had a couple. She's had players. She's had make this see per. He called me big per. You know, she's had a couple of things, right? But as far as consistency goes, you know, within female rap, within male rap, like little baby, the baby, um, um, what's his name, Roddy Rich, um, so many hot and popping artists who were hot and popping just are not that anymore like um pop stars we have new pop stars coming out all the time but they aren't really solidified or that impactful like that i mean not to say they don't have any motion but not like the pop stars of the past generation or even like the heavy hitters now like the tate mccrays and the madison beers while they have fans and while they have people who support them to a degree they are not hitting like that on a you know grand pop star level that you know you know the predecessors were <laughs> and the main pop girlies are you know there's only a handful of them left you know what i'm saying mainstream music in its entirety while we know the names of these people and they're popular they're not selling like that they're not selling like that like all of them all of them and it's like we know them for their name and for the few hits that they've had and you know moments that they've had maybe they've had one album or maybe they've had several singles that have popped off but it's like they have their time and then it fizzles out at some point the industry is going to get tired i mean yeah i feel like they already are at a fatigue point right now but it's like they're trying to figure out what to do you know what i'm saying but i feel like ai is the solution i feel like that's where we're we're all headed <laughs> <laughs> it's affecting the industry and I feel like it's affecting regular everyday people too because of how AI has kind of taken over regular people's jobs as well like as we know in the regular workforce and also like in the music industry it's coming I feel like it's coming I think the industry knows it's a quality issue I think the industry knows it's a longevity issue I think the industry knows that like most of these artists today don't make timeless music anymore and that they know that we have the few people who are at the top in every genre not just in female rap like you know the top pop girlies the taylors the ariana grandes 
the um you know the people who've been around forever the beyonce's the lady gaga's the Katy perry's and then you know the top the top rap contenders and the drakes and the kendrick's and the j cole's and the Nicki minaj's and then just everybody in their respective genre who are at the top and who have been in the game forever and who have proven to have that longevity i think the industry is relying on them right now like relying on them to keep everybody afloat but whenever all of the top people retire and we don't get music from them like that anymore and it's like you know you know the people who have solidified their fan bases and who have are here to stay type of thing <sighs> what is the music industry going to be and i think that they know that at this point because they've been trying with these newer artists trying to push them trying to put them out here and a lot of them are not moving weight like that they're just not they're just not and i feel like at the end of the day they know that ai is the ultimate answer because ai is less money you don't have to dress up ai and give ai a fancy budget you don't have to you know spend all of this money to make ai look you know more popping than what ai really is um you just put in a program and it spits out probably some lyrics it's like, it's going to be simple. It's going to be quick. It's going to be faster than people. It's going to be cheaper than people. And I feel like that's where we're headed, you know? So you guys let me know though. Maybe not. Maybe you feel like we are going to recover musically in the industry as a whole and there won't be a need to push AI in the future. But I definitely don't. I definitely don't think so. I don't think it's going to be like now, like within the next couple of years, like two to three years. No, I don't think it'll be right right now. But in the near future, like five to 10 years span, there will be a big difference in music and how we're consuming it and how we see artists and what artists are in five to 10 years. But you guys let me know. This is up for speculation. Maybe you don't think that. Comment below. That's totally fine. I love you so much. And this is it for this ramble slash rant video. If you're interested in that, because I do this a lot, I just talk. I don't have like these clear cut documentary style video that's just not what i do i like to talk to y'all i just like to have a conversation and kind of get my thoughts off like that's how i operate over here so if you're interested in that then go on ahead and subscribe don't be a stranger <laughs> i love you and i will talk to you in the next one bye